What's up guys? It's Mr. Chap. Uh, I am not uh, at school today, so I went ahead and recorded a video to uh, walk you through how to do today's assignment. We're going to continue our uh, unit on counting atoms using subscripts, coefficients, and parentheses. Today we're going to do a, um, a little lab that's a little a little, a little more fun than uh, your normal uh, assignments. Uh, it's actually a, uh, it's a digital version that I made of the, uh, of a lab that we normally do where we walk around. And they're kind of stations and you get to build a little bit. So uh, I made a digital version that's uh, actually, I think, uh, pretty much a, exactly the same as, uh, as the, uh, the in-class version. So you're not missing out on anything. All right. So, uh, Today we're going to go to modules. We're going to go to 120 pop cube lab. Click on that. Okay, so we're working in Google Slides today. Uh, we worked in Google Slides at the beginning of the year. Uh, we were having uh, a, a lot of people were having uh, difficulties with it, so we kind of backed off on it. Uh, but I think you guys have had a lot of practice with it in your other classes, and want to try to get back into it because uh, it's it's. Uh, it's nice to use. Okay, so uh, the instructions for your lab. Click on the blue link to open the slides in another tab. You do not need to make a copy. I know in some of your classes they ask you to make a copy. Clicking on this blue link right here will make a copy for you. Okay, so you're going to click on this blue link. Make sure you're logged into your school email. Uh, if you are uh, if you are not logged into your school email, it won't work. So make sure you're logged into your school email. So you can click on this link. You do not need to make a copy. Follow the instructions to complete the lab. Click on the submit button in Canvas when you're done. So after you do all of your work in here, you're gonna come back over here and cl click submit. If you're on a, uh, a laptop, it will be a submit button. I think if you're on a, uh, an iPad, it might just be a link or something like that. So you're gonna click on this link right here, Pop Cube Lab Chat. It'll pop this open. It'll make a copy for you. You do not need to make your own copy. Don't do it. Okay. So um, you're going to go through this, through this, answer these questions. So let's start over here. You're going to type your name. Let's say my name is Mr. Chap. And you're going to type your period. Let's say I'm in period one. Okay. So let's go to the next slide. Next slide says directions. Stations one, three, and five. So the odd stations. Use the picture and the key to answer the questions. Stations two, four, and six, the even stations. Use the blocks on the bottom to, uh, of each slide to create the formula given. Then make your own molecule and give me the formula. Uh, so we have uh, an example here. So the, these blue ones are hydro uh, stand for hydrogen. These uh, green ones stand for oxygen. So we're making H2O, which is water. We put two hydrogens and one oxygen together, and we make a model of, uh, of H2O, water. So let's go to the next slide. So the next slide says station one, baking soda. Over here, I have these, uh, what they're called pop cubes. Uh, you may have used them in math before. Um, so I built a model of baking soda, but you're going to need to tell me the chemical formula of baking soda. And the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna look at this picture and you're going to look at this key and write out the formula. Let's go ahead and do this one together, okay? So I have, uh, I'm going to look at this, uh, all these blocks, I'm going to start off at the beginning. Uh, I'm looking for red. I'm going, to, I'm going to look at red. Red is Na, so just somewhere in here. I'm going to click on there, right, to Na. Remember, uppercase, then lowercase. I'm looking at light blue. Light blue is H, so I'm going to type H. I'm going to look at yellow. Yellow is C, carbon. I'm going to write C. I'm going to look at green. Green is uh, is oxygen, so I'm going to write O. Now, if you were to say O O C N A H C O O O or C O O, uh, that would be incorrect. We know that if we have three of those, we're going to use a subscript, right? That little the small numbers. So I'm going to write O, and I'm going to write a three after it. Now that three, it looks like it's uh, it's lower, but it's not actually, okay? So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make it a subscript. And I'll show you two ways to make it a subscript. So you're going to, uh, it actually says down here, pro tip, 
highlight the number and hit control comma to make a subscript. So you're going to highlight the number. You can, on your keyboard, you can write control and comma at the same time. And it'll make it small. So there's one other way to do this. I, didn't, I haven't written it down. So you can highlight it and you can also go up to format, text, and subscript. Same thing. But uh, I, I thought this would be easier. Okay. So then you're going to answer uh, the question under here. So anytime I have this kind of tan box, you're going to uh, you're going to answer some questions. Okay. Okay. So let's go to the next uh, station. Next station. Create a your model using the blocks below. You, so you're making a model of chalk, which is calcium carbonate, which is CO3. So you're going to build CO3, a model of CO3, just like I have a model over here. You're going to build it here with these uh, Minecraft blocks. Okay. So you want to have uh, a carbon. You're going to drag one up there, somewhere, anywhere. You have an oxygen. You're going to drag that up there, and you're just going to keep going. Okay. I'm not going to do this one for you. So you're going to keep going until you've built CO3. Then you're going to go down to this tan box. Remember, I said anytime I have a tan box, you're going to uh, answer a question. Uh, and it says, what would the formula be for two molecules of CO3? Try to remember whether you'll use a subscript or a coefficient. Okay. Now you're going to go to next slide. Here's another one uh, for milk of magnesia. You might, your parents might have it and give it to you if you're, you have an upset stomach. Um, and uh, so we have it in a it, in a kind of weird order, so it's going to be uh, a little bit different. It's going to be um, paired off. So we have an Mg, an OH, and another pair of OH. So try to try to figure out what that's going to be. Just do the best you can. Answer the questions. You're going to go over here. You're going to build another uh, another model of hydrogen peroxide that your parents might put uh, on, uh, like if you scrape your knee or something. It's a good uh, antiseptic, kills uh, kills bacteria. Uh, then you're going to go to, and don't forget to answer the tan box. You go to this one, you're going to answer these questions based on this key. You go to this one, you're going to make a model of quartz, silicon dioxide. Don't forget to answer that question. Then you're going to go to this one, and now you get to make your own molecule. So, I, I, as, so what I want you to do is I want you to build something and uh, create your own molecule. It can be as simple as you want or as elaborate as you want and then you're going to uh, give me the formula. Okay, So you could drag one of each of here, as many of these as you want. You just dra keep dragging them. You build yourself a castle. Just make sure when you do this you can give me a formula. Okay, So you're just going to keep doing whatever you want there. I just want to give you a little fun time there, um, and so if you do decide, if you do start to get creative and you you run out of blocks, like say I, I need more calcium, these gray blocks, uh, you can also click on it, right click, and copy, and paste. And I'll make another one. So if you if you run if you run out of these, you, you're free to use more, or you can just be real simple. Okay, and then don't forget to write your formula over here. All right, and so lastly, we have some independent practice. I said this is a lot like math. Uh, these are order of operations kind of problems. You just need to know how to do it. Uh, so, and the only way uh, you get good at math is you practice. So we're going to do a little bit of practice. So you're going to answer these questions. Number four, five, and six are all using the same, uh, the same uh, formula. The formula for acetic acid, which is vinegar, uh, is this right here. CH2COOH. We haven't seen one in this class where we have an H over here and an H over here, a C over here and a C over here, an O over here and an O over here. What you're going to do is you're going to combine those. You're going to, if you see a C over here and a C over here, that means you have two Cs. Okay? So you're going to combine those. They have to be in that certain order to create that, like that chain that makes vinegar. So they can't just combine them. They're not, they're not just being dumb, right? 
So uh, it has to be in that certain order, but you're going to combine them. So if, I'm at, if I ask you a question like, how many carbons are in here? You have one carbon, you have another carbon. So you're going to add them together, okay? Uh, so the same, you're going to use the same formula for number five and the same formula for number six. Then we're going to go to the next, the last slide. The last slide says, go to Canvas and click Submit. So when you're done with everything, you're going to go back to Canvas, and you're going to click this Submit button right here. If you do not click the Submit button, it will not get turned in me. You did all that work for nothing, okay? So when you're done, click the Submit button, and you're done. Um, if you did not finish the assignment from yesterday, go back and finish the assignment from yesterday. Both of them are due today, all right? Have a good day, guys. See ya.